This is John Hankin, gold medalist in the 100 meter breaststroke at the Montreal Olympics. Here we have a start. He uses a combination of a conventional and grab start. You can see he starts to fall to the water. And as he gets into a position so that his legs are thrusting him at the water, he starts to drive his legs out, goes into the air, looks up to stall his body in the air so that he will drop down through a spot. You can see his hands entering a spot as we switch to underwater. You can see that he comes right through that spot. It is not a flopping action in the water, but rather an entry through a spot. See him change his body position here. So he's getting ready to take his underwater pull. Another view right through a spot again. He looks up, stalls his body, and drops down through a spot into the water. In the underwater stroke, you can see him change his body position. Even though he has a dolphin kick there, he still changes his body position, so his head was slightly lower than his legs. Then he takes an underwater pull by pulling out, back, and underneath his body, glide, kick to the surface, and he's swimming breaststroke. Here we have a start, pull down, glide, kick to the surface, and we have the total stroke. Pull, kick the arms forward, glide. Here on the stop action, you see the arms moving. They're going out, down and back, to the side, approximately a 45 degree angle off the shoulders. You can see them accelerate through the middle. Hands come together, elbows up, down, hands up. At that point, his legs had moved, so they were into a position to kick the arms forward. No dead spots in this stroke. Underwater, same thing. He's pulling out to the side. They get to a 45 degree angle. They pick up speed. As they come together, you can see his hands come together, elbows below. So there's no resistance as, as, that, as he's coming through the middle. You can see his legs coming up to override the backward phase of the arms. And then a glide. Above water, once again, you can see the arms accelerate through the middle. And you can see the legs kick the arms forward. Once again, on the turn now, we can see that as he hits, he locks it. The elbows pivots from the shoulders. And on a good turn, both the hands and legs will be off the wall at the same time. You let the momentum take you through the stroke. In the dolly shot here we have of him, you can see the breath comes at the front end of the stroke, not the back end of the stroke. Turn once again, he locked at the elbows, pivoted from the shoulders. Underwater stroke, kick to the surface. On the breath, he starts his head up at the front end. As the hands come through the middle, he starts his head back down. That's where the legs would come into play. As the head started back down, you started to extend your arm arms forward, that's where your legs would kick back. Underwater view of the turn, you can notice both his head, hands, and his feet off the wall at the same time. He let his momentum of swimming take him through the wall rather than letting himself pull himself through the wall. Underwater stroke, we can see how fast the middle is. One of the fundamentals of breaststroke is a very fast middle. Notice the elbow position. As he comes through the middle, he will keep his elbows lower than his hands so that the water he has streamlined. If your hands are below your elbows, there's much more resistance. Notice as he starts to extend his arms how his legs are in the position to kick him forward. Good shot of the elbows. That's, I believe John Hankin to have one of the best breaststrokes in the world because he, he has the, uh, the good pull and the good middle of the stroke and no resistance through the front end of his stroke. You can see the total coordination on these shots. You can see him pulling out. As he starts through the middle, notice there's an acceleration. Look for the elbows to come beneath the hands so that they're streamlined. Notice the legs are starting to move as he comes through the middle. As he starts his arms forward, notice the legs are in a position cocked and are kicking the arms forward. The bringing of the legs up is a negative motion. It's counterbalanced by the forward phase of the pull. The extending of the arms forward is a negative motion and the driving of the head back into the water is a negative motion. This is overcome by the leg thrusting back and extending in that one motion. Notice how fast John's feet are as he kicks his arms forward. You can see them coming up. You can see the turn, feet start to turn out and starts them back. See how fast his feet come together. The kick is one motion. He has the fundamentals. He has the good body position, has the good middle of the stroke, and he has the good legs. This is David Wilkie, swam for England and, and was the gold medalist and world record holder in the 200 meter breaststroke. This is taken in 1974 at the NC2A Championships at Long Beach. He has breast, good breaststrokers on either side of him, but you can 
see how fast the middle of his stroke is and just how fast his feet are. This was what makes David Wilkie one of the, one of the best breaststrokers in the world. See how fast he comes through the middle and you can see how fast his feet come together. You can see he breathes at the front end of his stroke once again. As he starts his arm pull, he starts bringing his head up. As he starts to extend his arms, his head goes back in. As he extends his arm, he kicks the arms and the head back in. You can see that he counterbalances negative phases of the legs with positive phases of the arms and then vice versa. You can see how fast the middle is on the underwater shot. As he gets back, he accelerates to the middle. The middle is the key to the stroke in the arms, and the quickness of the feet in the back end is the fundamental in the leg kick. Notice how he does not really drop his knee. He brings his feet up, heels first, and does not drop the knee. The key is to keep the angle small between the hips and the legs. This is Graham Smith. He competed in the Montreal Olympics for Canada. He swims for North Thornton at Berkeley, and Don Talbot at Thunder Bay Swim Club. On the dive, he goes a little too, he flops it a little bit. This is something they'll be working on, I'm quite sure. Notice the pull down to the side, and then he brings his arms up underneath the armpits, and as he extends his arm, he kicks the arms forward on the start. Another view of the dive, we can see that he gets in just a little too flat. This is something, as I said, he'll be working on. On the underwater stroke, to see the change of body position. He's got his head slightly lower than his legs, so he could maintain depth on the underwater pull. Another view, changes position, pulls out, back, and then underneath the body. Here's the total stroke. There's the dive, the pull down, glide, kick glide. Now we're seeing the whole stroke. Notice he crosses his arms underwater. But the thing to look for on this swimmer is how fast his feet are. He has very quick feet. This is what makes him, in my opinion, world-class breaststroker and the new American record holder. Notice the angle between the hip and the upper leg and how small it is. This is what makes his kick extremely strong. The quickness of his feet, also the small angle between the upper body and the upper leg. He keeps that very small. He brings the heels up rather than dropping his knee to get his legs up. He uses the crossover to accelerate through the middle of the stroke. So he has a very quick middle of the arm pull. And you can see on the underwater stroke, how fast he comes through the middle. And you can see that once again, he counterbalances the different phases of the stroke. On the turn here, you can see that he locked at the elbows, pivoted from the shoulders. Both hands and feet were off the wall at the same time. He let the momentum of the stroke take him through the wall. Once again, underwater, we can see the crossover and how fast he comes through the middle. There's no dead spot. He doesn't stop except in the front end. Since his legs are so good, we decided to take a shot of him on the wall, on the board. You can see just how fast his feet are here in step action. Super slow motion, and yet his feet look like there are normal breaststrokers coming together. This is Duncan Goodhue. He swims for North Carolina State and Don Easterling. Swam for England in the Olympic Games, where he was a finalist both 100 and 200 meter breaststroke. He gets in just a little flat. He would like to enter through a bubble a little more than that. Underwater stroke set up body position, and you could see how he maintained depth on the underwater pull. Another view of the start, once again, just a little too flat here. Here we have the total stroke. You can see the head starts up at the front end. You can see a definite acceleration through the middle. Once again, in review, you can see all the fundamentals on this breaststroker that all four breaststrokers have. They start pull out to the side on the stroke. They'll pull out to the side, 45 degree angle, accelerate through the middle, and extend their hands and press in the front end. You'll see that they counterbalance negative phases with power phases. The negative phases of the arms are counterbalanced by the positive forces of the legs. The negative forces of the legs are countermanded by the positive forces of the arms. On the turn, you can see they let momentum take them through the turn rather than pulling themselves through. Underwater stroke here, you can see him press in the front end. You can see him really stretch out on the glide. You can see how fast his middle is. Once again, you can see how fast the feet are coming together. The fundamentals are what makes for good swimming. Each of these people looks different in the water, but the fundamentals of breaststroke is what keeps them world-class swimmers. Look how fast his feet are. Look how fast the middle of his stroke is. And notice that there's no dead spots in the stroke. He keeps everything 
flowing and flows through the water.